Jay Guy with Chef Ricardo Cooking Show guys, amazing to be in the kitchen giving you favorite recipes and recipes and ideas for you to make in the kitchen at home. Anyway, today recipe a long time when I give you something like this in the kitchen. Brown chicken. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be very nice and going to be simple for you to make serve with some rice and peas. 100% you guys definitely going to love this one so please stay tuned in don't go anywhere sit down and watch this amazing recipe from chef Ricardo with rice and peas stage have the chicken marinate over the last three to four weeks in my freezer and the recipe for that one is on my I believe on my Instagram yeah oh I marinate the stew chicken so what we're going to do we're going to start the process of cooking the stew chicken today and i'm turning on my stove just now i'm going to be using some light spray oil this is the hot chili oil and i'm going to simply spray the pot like this i'm not going to be using no oil in the pot all right so you spray the pot like that uh, what you want to do is get some fresh garlic Alright, get yourself some lovely, where's my garlic press, I know it's somewhere right here. If you don't have one of this garlic press, go to Chef Ricardo website, that code that you can order it and you can get it. So I got about seven cloves of garlic, I'm gonna simply press them. nice one so that's the garlic I'm putting inside of the, the pot that's the first thing I want to do turn on the stove a little bit I'm doing about almost uh, seven cove of garlic it's gonna be a lot of garlic <laughs> but to be honest it it's worth it at the end of the day with the garlic you know what I mean I love my garlic. That's one. And I got a large white onion. I'm gonna I'm gonna simple put in the mix in the pot. Also. It's gonna be a very very nice stew chicken it's a stew chicken with also a twist to it to be honest so that's the garlic and the white one and that's what you want to do the first thing now to be honest you might have said this is a chicken which I have marinated over the last three weeks in this bag right here as if you notice i got chicken right on it that's i don't do any mistake all right lovely to be honest this chicken as i said been marinated over the last three three weeks in my freezer and decide to cook it today so what you want to do you want to take out the chicken from the night before and also put it into the fridge from the freezer to the fridge now I'm going to put that chicken into the pot like this chicken smell amazing oh the scent smell fantastic you got the thyme the garlic everything marinated so you must know that the scent is marvelous so if you're a person who watch my youtube channel you will definitely know see when i did marinate this chicken 
you will see it. Uh, you know what I mean? If you're a person who follow me all the time, then yeah. Go over to my Instagram. That's it. That's the last of the chicken. So we want to just mix it up together. Jamaican brown stew chicken. Yeah. Let's put a tiny bit of water in it. That's it doesn't stop sticking on me and turning it to very low. Alright, so in the meantime we're going to put some spring onion. on and I just put inside of it and I turn on my stove very low because I don't want it to burn I got some leak also put some leak inside of it got some carrot Also inside of it, cut the carrot a little bit chunky. You don't want them to mash up. notice the chicken is not too dark because I did not want it to be too dark dark you know? nice one now I got some celery so I'm gonna put also inside of it So we got the celery inside of it. Nice chicken, guys. Honestly, it's amazing. A few small celery. Try this at home. Celery in brown stew chicken. I got some peppers. I'm gonna put some pepper. Red, red, green, and gold pepper. So that looked nice and amazing. Look at that, guys! Fantastic. It's just the color and the texture. Wow! Now jump out of the pot. Then someone need to jump out of the pot. Someone need to feed. It's true, I don't know. Look at that. Yeah, that's some red, some yellow pepper. Nice one. I got some potato, which I also, I'm gonna put some potato inside of it. It's gonna be amazing. Look at that, fantastic. Is it, is the whole thing is just 
lovely and nice, honestly. Everything can cook on together. It's going to be a lovely one. Chef Ricardo. See all that nice? Yeah. If the pot too smaller, I'll just chuck it into the bigger one. I have a bigger one up there. I might just put it into the bigger one. I don't want to look small. Because you can see it look full up. So I'm gonna put it into a bigger pot. I'm gonna change over the pot. Alright, I got some more leeks. Let's finish up this rest of the leek. I'm gonna ch change over to the next pot. Take it, make it one simmer in the meantime. So give me a nice good 10 minutes. I'm gonna put it over to a uh, bigger pot. Nice one. So as you can see, bigger pot, more spaces. You know what I mean? In it. So what I did earlier, I just put a little bit of brown in another pot. I'm gonna put a little bit of ketchup on top of it like this. Right. Roughly about two teaspoon of ketchup. Little bit of little bit water. I mean, this is a lovely mix up. So I, I change around the pot, get a bigger one, because I know that pot was too small. Alright, that's looking good. Yeah. So I'm just gonna allow this for it to steam and cook for a nice good 20 minutes. In the 20 minutes, I will be keep stirring it. Hold on first. Hold on first, guys. Hold on. Hold on there. Hold on there. Hold on there. All right. What am I going to do? I'm going to put some mixed herb. Not the Jamaican herb. Remember I told you, not the Caribbean herb. I'm talking about cooking herb. All right, guys. Remember. So we're going to put some mixed herb. See where it look? Remember. <laughs> I'm joking guys, it's not the Jamaica, it's a mixed herb. Alright? Anyway, that's a laugh. Um little bit of all purpose season. Nice one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do. I like to use a vegetable stock. I'm gonna put a vegetable stock inside of it. A vegetable stock work really well with it. And a little bit of paprika. You know what I mean? Yeah, paprika nice too. So, give it a stir. Chicken look nice, scent, everything perfect. Alright, so things looking good there. I'm going to crack a little bit of pepper. Alright. Now, I'm going to put some pimento seed in it. Rock about four. beauty behind this now is you have to marinate the chicken the right and proper way that's the most important thing is to marinate the chicken when you're cooking it just add a little rest of ingredients you know what I mean to it and get it perfect so this guy I'm going to cook for a nice good 20 minutes stay tuned with Chef Ricardo fantastic nice and lovely look at that that's exactly what I'm talking about come a little bit closer with the camera yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So that look nice. Perfect. Jamaican brown stew chicken. Stew chicken from Chef Ricardo. 
Got the beautiful chicken. Look at that. I just allow it for it to cook down. Bit by bit, I didn't rush it. Chicken looking amazing. Just take time and cook it down. No liquid. Nice brown stew chicken. This is ready also. Let's share up. Nice one guys. So look at my beautiful rice and peas. It's going to be serving with some lovely Jamaican. Stew chicken. Alright. Nice one. Yeah, that's it. Small slices of chew stew chicken. Oh, shit, I forgot. It only looked dark, but it's a camera, right? Sweet, sweet con. Please enjoy and subscribe. Leave your comments in the description box all right please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend see you next time in the kitchen with more recipe bye bye